In last week's From the Ground Up segment, we told you about a dangerous weed that has the potential to devastate crops. In this week's segment, we'll tell you about a weed, while not as dangerous, affects almost all of us. I went out to investigate the negatives and positives of dandelions. Dandelions. You see them all over the place from your church to the baseball diamond. The weeds are almost anywhere and everywhere when you drive through town. Jen Lamos of the Wapolo County Extension Office explains how they can travel so easily. The white part is simply a mechanism for the dandelions to fly. So the seeds are the brown parts and the white helps the dandelion move. So it's a flower that's designed to spread, which is why we have such a problem with it. Um, Rather than just its seeds falling directly on the ground beneath it, it can spread all over. There are ways to get rid of dandelions right now, like using a broadleaf herbicide or even pulling the individual weeds out of your yard. While using a lawnmower would make your lawn appear nicer, it won't fix your dandelion problem. If you have a yard full of these pesky weeds, the right thing to do would be to wait until fall to take care of them once and for all. In the fall, Find either somebody who's licensed to apply herbicides or do something at home um, to get the roots killed off. Um, that's where the energy is stored for the next year, so they already have a lot of energy to grow this year. And that's how we wind up with lots of dandelions. If you do have a surplus of dandelions in your yard, that is certainly an issue. But you might have a deeper rooted problem on your hands as well. An herbicide alone doesn't always fix the problem. If your soil is poor, if it's compacted, if grass is struggling to survive, you can get rid of all of your dandelions. And then if grass isn't growing, more weeds will come back. So that's why we encourage people to really look at why their grass isn't growing and address that issue. Dandelions do provide use to some. You can make a dandelion salad, but be careful where you pick your leaves from as they could be covered with herbicides. One insect in particular uses the yellow flowers as a way to survive. And they're actually very beneficial to bees and other pollinators because they're the first pollen source early in the spring. That's why we encourage people to consider letting the first dandelions grow a little bit so they can help our bees out. There are different herbicides that you can use to get rid of dandelions in your yard. Just make sure that it's the right mix so that you don't kill your grass along with the weeds. And make sure especially the herbicides are safe because if you have kids playing in your yard, you do not want them to get uh, hurt by that.